let us see one of the beautiful question in induction motor okay basically this question was sent by shubham singh mishwaha okay thank you dear you have done a wonderful job okay see like you know as i told previously also first our team okay team of expert will try to reply you back with the mail and if you are like you know unable to understand or something our team of experts will call you to explain you and third thing is like you know if any conceptual things are there if anything cannot be explained we will do video okay anyway single alternator supplying power to an induction motor and the alternator is running at a speed of 1000 rpm if the load on the induction motor is increased by keeping excitation and prime over input of alternator constant then the speed of alternator <coughs> would be okay so see here what are the keywords we have to catch here okay so alternator is running at 1000 rpm okay second thing is there is no mechanical coupling actually induction motor is not rotating uh, what do you say synchronous machine alternator rather than that another prime mover is rotating so mechanical coupling will not be there electrical coupling will be there okay and the thing is induction motor is increased by keeping excitation and prime mover input of alternator is constant so this excitation is not a keyword because because of excitation because of field current variations what can happen what can happen reactive power may vary but reactive power is not a power what is power real power so he is varying something related to he is asking something related to active power so excitation need not be bothered so prime over input of alternator is constant is a keyword okay now let us see for example this is the alternator So this is the alternator. Alternator is connected with induction motor. Okay, uh, electrically. Now this is being rotated by some prime mover, which power input is constant. It is rotating at 1000 RPM at starting, and it is going to be mechanical coupling. Okay, mechanically coupled with the load. Okay, in motor, what is load? Whatever may be trying to stop the rotation of the rotor is nothing but the load. Okay, so for example, if I think of this as a brake drum, this brake drum is connected with belt. Okay, so means you tighten the belt, you tighten the belt. Okay, so this is the case. Okay, now like you know what he has done at this like you know it is rotating at 1000 rpm and now induction motor if the load on the induction motor is increased load on the induction motor is increased means that you are going to tighten the belt more then what will happen load torque is going to be increased okay now means prime mover is supplying some power p the mechanically and that mechanical power is converted into electrical and in the process what are the losses no losses because they did not give so efficiency is 100 percent now that particular electrical power is given to induction motor that particular electrical power is being converted into mechanical power mechanical power and is being supplied to the load okay so power input here power output here electrical power input here power output here is same because this prime over power input is same he said so power is what is power is going to be torque multiplied by speed so here torque is increased and the load so speed has to be reduced such that power is going to be same okay now speed is going to be reduced now let us think of this is power okay power how much is the output power here developed power okay developed power is nothing but shaft power why there will be no mechanical losses because he did not give how much is that is going to be 1 minus s into a gap power pg <laughs> okay so p p p is constant means that shaft to power is going to be constant okay means that a gap power is going to be constant because in stata there will be no losses if they did not give okay so here means this is going to be constant this is going to be constant means that slip should be constant means in other way slip speed should be constant okay so what is slip speed is going to be sns okay so what is this is going to be ns minus nr okay so for a given slip speed for a given slip speed for example nr is reduced by torque is increased speed is reduced this is reduced means that this also has to be reduced 
in induction motor i did not touch alternator yet okay so this ns is reduced okay so nr is reduced ns should be reduced means that what is ns in induction motor ns equal to 120 f by p 120 is constant number of poles did they give any information about number of poles no it should be constant so ns should be reduced means that supply frequency should be reduced means that here input frequency is reduced means that output frequency of this should be reduced okay so what is frequency here frequency is going to be pn by 120 or n equal to 120 by p anything is same okay now 120 frequency is reduced about number of poles they did not give any information means that input speed has to be reduced so my prime mode speed has to be reduced to less than 1000 rpm okay so see here in this option is going to be less than 1000 more than 1000 remains something like that answer should be less than 1000 okay so means we can if we can analyze actually this may this particular problem is related to both induction motor and alternator beautiful question beautiful question